Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. My name is Shantanu Shrivastav and in today's video, I am going to show you how can we use Compose action in Power Automate Flow to get desired result and with that Compose action, we could use it in inside our email or you could use in any field if you want. First of all, let me activate this code and I'm going to create order from here. So our uh, order has been created and uh, our power automate flow has been triggered and it will send an email with the details of the order to the customer. So go to the customer and in the customer timeline as we can see that we have email with the order details. So these are the order details order number 514 five iPhones customer every Howard shipping method estimate delivery and amount so how can we achieve it we are going to see in this video to create power automate flow we will navigate to power apps and there we will go to our solution and there we will create our power automate flow so this is my power apps and we are in the right environment now we'll open a solution which we are going to use to create a new power automate flow click on new cloud flow and automate it give it a name and search for triggers here we are going to use micro dataverse when our row is added modify delete click on create change tab will select added we want to trigger our automate flow whenever our order record is added this code will select organization and uh, click on new step so now we will initialize a variable here to set the delivery days because we need to send a customer that how much time we will deliver their product why we are doing it let go to our any order record here we can see that there are multiple shipping methods are available and from our business case we have if the order is booked from airborne then it will deliver in one day if it is booked from DHL it will deliver in two days and if it is booked from FedEx then it will deliver in three days and other than these three options if it's booked from any other and now the type would be integer and setting the value to zero later on we will set some value for this uh, variable to one day two day three day and for seven days now we click on new step here we get a uh, contact record from this for that we will get a row by ID table will select contact and in row id we will select a customer value and now click on new step now we will sw use switch case here for the value shipping method this one and we will check what are the option value of this for that open a level up show ups and set values shipping method code air brown for one dhl2 pedx3 so if it is value equal to one then here click on add action now we will set variable use set variable here select your variable this one enter value one now click on add action and here we will use our first compose action and in this section we are going to use an html code which will have columns with order details so for that i am using this html code the link i will provide in the description of this video right now you can see this copy i am copying it here and pasting it so here we can see that order number we need to select order number here for this we will use order id for the customer we will use customer name shipping method estimate delivery date we will get it from the set variable that we have set here 
and the amount total amount so we have set this inside our compose action now click on add action we'll add a new record in our email table so click on add a new row select email message message select two here we'll select plural name of the contact table and now we'll select contact here this one in the form section we will use system users plural name and select owner value here and here in the description field we are going to use our compose action output now after this click on add action we will select perform a bound action here table name should be email message action name would be send email or row id we will get from that above action unique identifier this one issue sent should be yes now click on save and now we'll test our flow click on test go back to your dynamic environment click on new now we will select first give it a name like eight iphones this is the name of the new code this should be the name of the new code price list select one shipping method for now i'm selecting airborne to see the power automate flow run later on i'm going to show you how can we add different different switch cases potential customer select any contact record here now click on save to add the product here we will add a product click on add now we will activate this code and create order why i am creating order from here because i need to add product first to add it in the detail now audit created successfully now go back to our power automate flow we will see that this flow will trigger now we can see that your flow runs successfully we'll go back to our environment open this customer record and in this timeline we could see our order detail so everything is looking fine but the amount isn't calculated yet and the shipping method is showing one so shipping method should be like uh, airborne and the amount should be calculated it here so for that we need to make some changes go back to power automate flow click on edit in the compose action we are taking a total amount which is not calculating right now so total amount is calculating after some time so we need to make some changes on our power automate flow to use it and the shipping method to taking what one now we can use one more compose action to show the formatted value of shipping method for that we are going to use here a compose action and why i'm doing it let me show you first let's cancel this we have tested this flow open this and from here here we can see that our shipping method should be here here we can see this shipping method code is here so we, we, we want this value label value 
for that we are going to use it in a compose action so copy this click on edit here we are going to add compose action and we write our expression so inside this compose action I'm going to use this this thing here copy it and click on expression okay and I want to use it here for that search for the compose to output now click on save and we test it again so here we can see that now output is coming here and in the switch case if you open it we can see that shipping method is coming airborne and if you go back here to Casilla Viera in the timeline we could see so this time we can see that shipping method is airborne which was not on the last time and the amount is coming is zero so we will fix it also come here I think we need to get the order record again from that we could set total amount and now we will use it here get a row by added to now click on save test again refresh it on our latest timeline we could see that total amount is also calculating right now so now we will create for all the other switch cases for that click on here click to I have created all the cases and uh, configure all the actions similar to the first one and for the default values I'm sending set variable everything is here now in last save it and test you will test it manually create a quote order first a quote select 15 iPhones price list will select this time shipping method will set FedEx so the delivery time should be in three days potential customer let's select Helene and click on save now we'll add a product here 15 click on add save to quote activate our quote and create order so our order has been created successfully now we'll go to contact record and in the timeline we will check this is the email open it so now as we can see shipping method is here and estimate delivery everything is here so that's it from our video hope you like it please like and subscribe thanks for watching